So um, I'm uh, very happy to have you here. Uh, welcome, George uh, Stefanopoulos. Uh, welcome, uh, Renos Ferrelabidis. Welcome, uh, Manos Gabras. Uh, welcome, uh, Stamatis uh, Hiotis. Uh, welcome, uh, Paul Lingas. Um, we are very glad to have you here with us. Um, we have heard that, that uh, you just uh, finished uh, from uh, the Savannah Film Festival. Um, it's an honor, I think, for Greece in general to participate in um, U.S. Uh, film festivals. And uh, from what I see here uh, for your movie film, uh, you got some awards in, uh, in a couple more uh, film festivals. And uh, most important, uh, I see that uh, you will have a U.S. distribution of the film uh, for 2017 in the U.S., which is a big thing for a Greek uh, movie film. Uh, would you like uh, to tell us uh, some things, uh, George? But before I give you the floor, I would like uh, my colleague uh, Greta, the director of the Greek uh, National Tourism Organization, uh, to say a few things, because uh, some, uh, some information I have uh, says uh, that you do have some sort of involvement with the film. Thank you, Sia. Welcome to everybody. Thank you for being in the GNT office and press office, in our offices. We are very happy to have you here. We supported George's movie. We are the first GNT who supported his movie because we believed in your movie. We love your movie. We love that you did the shooting in Greece. We invite more, more producers. Thank you for producing in Greece. Thank you guys, you were amazing. Great fun plan of yours. And we would love to have more movies shooting in Greece in the future. The floor well, is yours. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Sia. Thank you uh, for giving us the opportunity to talk more about Swing Away. So um, I think um, to answer your question, Sia, you know, yes, uh, it, it is important for a Greek film, in this case, it's an English language Greek film, um, to be in distribution. But it's, I guess that you could say that for any indie film. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a very difficult to get um, theatrical distribution uh, for a, for a non-studio financed film. So we're very uh, happy about that. We're looking forward to that. Uh, we have Manos and Venos in the States because the goal was to release in November of 2016. And our date got pushed to March 2017. But at the same time, uh, you know, uh, we wanted them in New York because we had back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back, um, film festivals. Um, as you just mentioned, we just came from Savannah International Film Festival. We had two screenings there, which were quite successful for us. Um, you know, these are screenings in front of primarily non-Greek audiences. Uh, before our festival run, we showed the movie. We had these private invitational screenings. The first one was in December of 2016 at the Museum of the Movie. 2016, the Museum of the Movie, or yeah, in December 2015. Excuse me. At the Museum of the Moving Image, um, and um, and that's when we partnered with NGT. Uh, oh, and National yeah, and we had uh, you know the New York City Greek Film Festival also was uh, one of our primary sponsors, and we followed that up in January 2016 at, at the LA Greek Film Festival. Again, it was a special screening at the um, at the uh, Realty Theater in Beverly Hills, and then uh, Paul and I are who's uh, executive producer and co-writer on, 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 the, on uh, Swing Away. We're both from Portland, Oregon. We grew up together, and um, that was my dad's parish, and we went back to Portland, and we, we had a, another, uh, again, private event at the Portland Art Museum. Uh, there was the 400 seat theater. Uh, again, the movie, we, we, we were very happy when we, that, uh, it, that uh, the Greek community has, has uh, received the, the film as favorably as they have. Obviously, they love uh, to see uh, Greek actors who that they know from other from other uh, films that they do in Greece, to see them in this movie doing an English language film. So I think uh, what I'm most especially proud of is the fact that we uh, were in the end were able to shoot the movie in Greece. There was a lot of times that I felt that the movie might be taken outside of Greece, and I did flirt with the idea of shooting the movie in southern Turkey or India or China or well, Puerto Rico. Or Bulgaria. So, but you know, I. When I, when I thought long and hard about that, I wasn't interested in making the movie if I wasn't shooting the movie in Greece. So um, we scouted all over Greece. Obviously, it's a, it's a golf comedy, and there's only so many golf courses in Greece, so we had to go where there, where there were golf courses. In the end, Rhodes uh, was the, one, the, lo the location that best served the film. So 
uh, I, I, we thought that we would show, for those who haven't seen the film, some some uh, footage of the movie. Um, they're not clips, but I'll just kind of fast forward to the film just so you can see a little bit of what it is that we we did. And in terms of cinematography, we worked with Yanis Vaskolafanasis, who's one of the best cinematographers in Greece. And whenever we show the movie, that's the one thing that people, I think, always comment about is how beautiful Greece looks on the big screen. And in fact, we just uh, were in another film festival in Greece, in Bridges, which was in Athlion, and Yanis Vaskolafanasis was awarded the Best Cinematographer Award. We also there uh, uh, received our Victoria, our child actor, Victoria Miller, won Best Leading Actress, and Shanna Elizabeth won Best, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Best Supporting Actress. Victoria Miller won Best Supporting Actress, and Shanna Elizabeth won Best uh, Actress, Best Leading Actress. So, and in Cyprus, the month in September, just before uh, Bridges, we uh, we screened there as well. I sent Victoria and her mother to, and Tom was there. Um, I was one of the uh, jury members and I think it was 2010. So I had a relationship with the festival director. They were aware that I was working on this movie and they of course invited us back. And there we won best film in the veterans category. So the, the main award went to a first time film director and the, 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 but they also gave the best film award to a veteran director, uh, which was awarded to our director, Michael Nichols, who is obviously Greek American. Uh, he's from Syracuse, New York. And, um, and if people don't know Michael um, yet, they will soon to, to you know be quite familiar with uh, his work because he's a fantastic uh, director. He's someone that I have known since a teenager. We met at the Onion Village in 1982 as teenagers. And so uh, me and Michael, um, you know, I've now known each other over 30 years. And of course, we were both right out of high school and he was, you know, and that fall he was been coming to New York to attend NYU Film School. And I, I went to college and later to law school. And, and of course, all these years later, our paths cross and we had the opportunity to collaborate and work together on Swing Away. So uh, I'll scroll quickly through some, some uh, scenes of the film so you can see uh, we do have uh, some Greek, I would say maybe 25% Greek in, in, with English subtitles. But um, um, the stars of the film, of course, are our Greek actors. But they're they're work, you know they're opposite in all these scenes with our two uh, American actors who who um, you know them in their other films. Shannon Elizabeth was just, was one of the stars in American Pie. John O'Hurley is known for his uh, role on Seinfeld as Jay Peterman, and we did have a comedic British actor, Carl Theobald. So other than those three, everyone on this production is Greek, in front and behind the camera. And if you were, when you see the film and you look at the, the rolling credits, you're going to pretty much see nothing but Greek names, one after the other. And that includes, by the way, our investors. And um, this movie was financed entirely through private equity. Um, unfortunately, Greece at the moment doesn't have tax incentives or other schemes to um, you know, uh, encourage uh, foreign filmmakers to want to shoot in Greece or to make it affordable to shoot in Greece. Uh, we. We're able to do what we did because we had the support of the, the Greek American community. And um, Tom invested. Uh, obviously, I put my own money into this film, and then we had other investors. And the one who I think really took us over the top was Peter Pappas, who's here for, in New York. And Peter is, you know, obviously a um, big supporter of golf in Greece. Um, we've known each other for a long time. He was aware of what I was doing. And I think in the end, he realized that uh, the best way to um, grow the game of golf in Greece is to get behind a movie like this, to do all of what he's doing, but to also get behind a movie project like this because our our protagonist is a, is a 10 year old golf prodigy. So we're hoping that kids in Greece will look up to this character as a as a modern day hero of sorts, some, and somebody that other kids can see that, that golf is a sport, requires skill, but can be played at a high level even at a young age. So I'm thankful to Peter Pappas and uh, and all my other investors. Uh, there are other New Yorkers, Mike Angliadis, John Paterakis, and of course uh, investors from across the country. So um, I, you know, with that, I'll just we'll we'll show uh, again some footage from the film, and then we can answer whatever questions you might have about uh, the project. So yeah, so which one do I skip? Okay.
So I'm just going to stop there just to just to co comment real quickly where in roads specifically we shot. Obviously, that's um, the town of Lindos. We shot at the golf course at Afandu. We shot at the monastery at Filaremo. We shot at the uh, airport. Um, we partnered with the GN Air. And the scene that, that, that there's a quick shot of Shannon on the plane um, landing in Greece. And that was actually shot late at night on a real GN Air plane on the tarmac at, at the Rhodes International Airport. Uh, we were at the church, uh, the town of. Uh, of uh, Argos, Ar 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 um, and, um, and, and, um, and then of course, to go back to how this film was financed, we had the support of the local uh, business community in Rhodes. Um, but Manos had introduced us to the owner of, of uh, Rhodos Palas. Um, Mrs. Kambarakis put up the cast and crew, uh, provided all the craft services, and um, and and and, and, um, and of course, the GM covered a lot of our our, our flights. Right. So in that sense, you know, we did get real money out of Greece. Now, of course, it's also pre also prefecture, and right. <clears throat> and, and so that, that that's not uh, that's not an equity investment. But they they were willing to do what they did because they wanted to get behind a project that actually promoted the island. And uh, so I, I I don't doubt that we would have had the same kind of support if we'd been in Crete or Corfu. But in the end, we were in Rhodes. So. You'll see uh, lots of different locations um, as we go through the film. But your popping music is wonderful to sing it. And we will enjoy whatever time we have together. Obviously, a lot of our intent behind the film is to capture the beauty of Greece. And uh, we're serving baklava today because we, our director very much wanted to shoot uh, food in Greece. And so there's, so there's a lot of discussion about halakabudiko. You see the baklava on the table. And we weren't sure at the time what he was doing exactly, but we've been at screenings where people afterwards came up to us and said that they appreciated those shots of the food. And, uh, and so our director is reminding us, like, you know, um, you know, uh, that, that it paid off because that was what he was hoping. Okay, I'm going to jump here to. Sorry about this call. My name is Panagiotis Mamalakis. Oh, people call me Panas. Yeah. I'm the manager of Colossus Golf Course. That's all good. You're Zoko Motobus, right? Yes. Well, it's a great honor to be a world superstar <laughs> such as yourself. Really there. Well, I have a proposal for you. I want to invite you to run a golf clinic. I'm not going to be Okay, you're, you're a big star, and you, we can use your expertise, but I hear also you're putting problems, right? It's not going to be Listen, listen, if you come work at the course, you will be able to practice your game without pressure. And then when, when your suspension is over, you're going to return to the tour better than ever. See, good for me and good for you. I appreciate the offer. Listen, we have great, great, great plans for this place. Listen, just, just come and visit the course. You may change your mind. Are you taking it out of here? There's our helicopter for scene in the middle. Jump here. Perfect. Um, let's see. Someone will piss the me. Hear me out. Greeks have been everything, right? Of course, they're really. Oh, golf is one of the things they invented. Uh, well, as a subject of the UK, I do feel compelled to point out that it's actually the Scots. Well, a kilt looks awful lot like a fustanella to me. Yeah, actually, my pipes are mentioned in the old Yes, and the name Scotland comes from the Greek Scotia, 
which is the Greek word for <laughs> the land of darkness. Their patron saint is Ayos Andreas, and his cross appears on their flag, which happens to have the same colors as our flag. This. Yes. You're going to tee off with your eyes closed. What? That's impossible. Nothing's impossible. You can do this, Stella. You just have to believe it. So Victoria Miller's from Patras. She's first never acted uh, in TV or film or commercials. This is her first I want you to feel the sun uh, on your professional uh, the acting sound of the role. Waves. And um, the salt in the air. her father's and from Scotland yourself. and her mother's Greek. So, so you can find somebody. You can envision Greek yourself Greek 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 found somebody who really could speak both Greek and English in the film. Um, she, she never played golf, but we, we had her work with a golf professional in Greece, and she yeah. had six months of golf instruction. The and then uh, where we had to, she was body double in, in certain scenes. Exhale. And swing away. Exhale. And swing away. This will be our last one, just so you can see John O'Hurley. <laughs> What's going on here, Bono? Hi, must be Mr. Henderson. Can I get you something to eat or drink? Who are you? Because I thought that was. Zoe Papadopoulos, you hired Zoe Papadopoulos <laughs> as the golf pro of Meltdown Queen of the LPGA. What were you going to do? Hold a clinic on golf etiquette? What? Everything okay here, Glenn? Yeah, everything's fine. Fine. This has nothing to do with our deal. Deal? What deal, sir? You know, maybe today really isn't the kind of day we should be doing this. We'll try it again tomorrow. Antonopoulos, would you take these guys back to the yacht, please? Deal? What are you talking about, sir? None of your goddamn business. I thought we were partners. Oh, we're not partners. You're fired. What? That goes for Miss Yips, too. And relax, because your little village is about to become a world-class destination. I'm selling this property to those two gentlemen there, and they're going to build a five-star golf resort. You're selling? Sir, you just bought it. It's going to be a kind of a club med here. We're going to have a hotel, shopping, resort, restaurants. There's even going to be a waterfall. And maybe you can find yourself a job flipping burgers at one of the many convenient bullseye cafes. As for the rest of you, get the hell out of here! The place is closed. So. We will uh, make available to uh, whatever media outlets wants, you know, 15 second uh, clip Let's, to maybe company with whatever you're going to uh, do in terms of a written story, put it up on the on a, your website, or if NGTV is going to do something on television, you know, we'll have uh, some footage for you. So I'll just get your business card and provide you with that, that uh, material. But, uh, so I think, you know, if anyone has any specific questions, we're happy to answer, but we just were, you know, wanted really to thank Manos and Renos for um, making themselves, uh, finding the time to come to the States, company us in Savannah. I thought we had a, a, a great uh, week. And I, you know, I, don't, I, I saw a lot of movies. I don't think there was anything like our film at the festival. I mean, a lot of great films at the festival, I'm saying them in terms of what we did. In uh, English language films, it was, in my mind, a a cross-border collaboration with Greeks and Greek Americans. You know, I think we did something uh, fairly unique and, and, and extraordinary. I think when the movie gets released, I think it will be um, recognized and talked about uh, for um, uh, you know in, in that in that way because it was a great experience for us, and I hope it was a great experience for you guys and your and your colleagues in Greece uh, to do this. And we obviously you know to actually uh, you know make the movie that we did, we had to work with. Them. Greek companies and Kostas Lampropos was uh, at Seal Productions, Remaster Master Films. Uh, these, you know, he couldn't have been a better partner, and you know, he was the one who, uh, you know, helped us audition the other roles. He was the one who helped us uh, find out all of our, um, all of our uh, crew, and so um, you know, that was the real heavy lifting, and and, and it was um, uh, 
you know, that was only possible in that, in, uh, that uh, I couldn't have just gone over there and made a move, but we had to do what we did and, and to work with uh, the local film community. So, and again, it's Mano Serenos who have been attached to this project for since almost the beginning, and they're the ones that opened up a lot of those doors for, for us in this project. George, I think I know the Ashmakatan. I think I know the Ashmakatan. I think I know the Ashmakatan. I είναι μια ταινία που φτιάχτηκε με ειδικέ θυσίε από του παραγωγού μα, από τον Τζόρτζ, από τον Ισταμάτη, από χρηματοδότε Ελληνοαμερικάνου. Είναι μια ταινία που έγινε χωρί κρατικά λεφτά, έγινε με ιδιωτική πρωτοβουλία, αυτό του στιγμά, και πιστεύω ότι θα έχει εξαιρετική τύχη. Ε, κολακεύει την Ελλάδα, ε, την, μάλλον δεν την κολακεύει, την τοποθετεί ακριβώ εκεί που βρίσκεται, σε ένα από τα πιο ωραία μέρη το εκτυπ... Στη Σαββάνα, να σα πω ότι ε, πιο πολλοί οι θεατέ ε, ενδιαφέρονται για την τοπία παρά για την υποκριτική μα. Αλλά αυτό μα άρεσε, γιατί αυτό που μα ενδιαφέρει πιο πολύ είναι πραγματικά να παροδοθεί ο τόπο μα. Και θέλουμε πάρα πολύ οι Έλληνε που ζουν στην Αμερική, μόλι ταινία είναι στι αίθουσε, να σπεύσουν, να τη δουν και να τη στηρίξουν. Ευχαριστούμε, Έλληνε. Μάλλον. Ελληνικά, ελληνικά. Τα πω ελληνικά τότε. So George feels comfortable. Εγώ θέλω να πω ότι είμαι attached σε αυτή την ταινία από το 2010, όταν πρώτα ήρθε ο George και μου έκανε την πρόταση. Μετά από πέντε χρόνια σχεδόν καταφέραμε και κάναμε την ταινία. Αυτό που μου αρέσει στο Swing Away, πέρα από το σκοπό του, που αγιάζει τα μέσα, είναι και τα μέσα που έγινε η ταινία. Ε, ήταν τίμια, ήταν όπω είπε και ο Ρένο, ηρωικά και πέτυχαν το, το σκοπό του. Ε, με αποτέλεσμα να φέρουν δε διαφορετικά community στο ελληνικό και το ελληνοαμερικανικό μαζί και να δουλέψουν αρμονικά και να πετύχουν αυτό το αποτέλεσμα. Ε, ήταν η πρώτη ταινία που έκανα. Έχω κάνει αμερικάνικε ταινίε ή ελληνικέ ταινίε. Είναι η πρώτη ταινία που ήταν συνδυασμό ελληνοαμερικάνων και ελλήνων, α πούμε, να κάνουν group together και να, και να κάνουν μια ταινία. Και μ' άρεσε να άγγιξε συναισθηματικά πολύ. Γιατί είναι δύο ε, communities ας πούμε, που έχω ζήσει και ζώντα στην Αμερική του Αμερικανού, το αγαπώ και σέβομαι και, και του έχω ζήσει και, και καταλαβαίνω ακριβώ την ε, ψυχολογία και αισθητική του για τα πράγματα. Και του Έλληνε γιατί μεγάλωσα στην Ελλάδα και περνάω πολύ χρόνο εκεί. Οπότε για μένα ήταν σαν να συνέδεσαν, συνέδεσαν ε, κάποιοι άνθρωποι ήταν και συνέδεσαν δύο κομμάτια τη ζωή μου. Τα χρόνια που έζησα εδώ και ζω εδώ και τα χρόνια τη Ελλάδα. Ήταν έτσι δύο οπτικές που τις ήξερα και τις ε, ε, απίλαψα πάρα πάρα πολύ. Τώρα, από εκεί και ύστερα θεωρώ ότι σαν αποτέλεσμα αυτή η ταινία πέρα από το ότι όπως λέμε η παραγωγή μου ότι είναι σαν ένα 90 minute commercial for Greece ε, πέρα από αυτό που είναι ε, για μένα είναι ένα classy film. Είναι επιτέλους μια ταινία ε, που έχει class και δεν παρουσιάζει την, ε, παρόλο που γυρίζεται σε χωριό δεν παρουσιάζει την Ελλάδα σαν χωριό. Ε, μιλάνε, είναι ένα μοντέρνο παππού και μια μοντέρνα γιαγιά επιτέλου. Που είναι κλάση και αυτοί σαν άνθρωποι. Ο τρόπο που μιλάνε, ο τρόπο που δίνονται. Δεν είναι αυτό που έχουμε δει ξανά και ξανά το τσεμπέρι, το πεπαλαιωμένο που και αυτό υπάρχει, είναι ωραίο, αλλά δείχνει και ένα άλλο πρόσωπο προ τα έξω. Ε, μια πραγματική εγκάρδια ε, οικογένεια, ε, κοινωνία, η οποία θέλει να ακολουθήσει. Το μοντέρνο κόσμο και μπορεί να τη δοθεί ευκαιρία, κρατώντα όμω τι αρχέ και τι παραδόσει τη ταυτόχρονα. Και αυτό είναι που νομίζω ότι αγγίζει και το ξένο κοινό, και άγγιξε και το κοινό στη Σαββάνα και στα αρτιστικά που πήγαμε, και νομίζω ότι αυτό θα αγγίξει και το κοινό στην Αμερική όταν βγει ταινία, γιατί ε, είναι αυτό που την κάνει, τη δίνει ένα global ενδιαφέρον. Πιστεύω ότι οι οικογένειε που έχουν έρθει από την Ινδία, από όλο τον κόσμο, θα, κάνουν, θα γίνουν relate με αυτή την ταινία. Θα δουν τον εαυτό του σε κάποια κομμάτια εκεί πέρα. Μπορεί να είναι λίγο διαφορετικά, αλλά θα δουν πράγματα και καταστάσει που. που Όπω όπως το Big Rick Hard Wearing που έγινε επιτυχημένο ακριβώ για τον ίδιο σκοπό. Γιατί αντίστοιχε οικογένειε από άλλα races υπάρχουν στη, στην Αμερική, έτσι και αυτοί με το δικό του τρόπο 
επειδή γύρισε και σε άλλο τόπο, θα έχει αντίστοιχο impact σε ανθρώπου από όλο τον κόσμο και την Αμερική φυσικά. Και έτσι έχουμε καλή επιτυχία από στο Ευρωπαϊκό. Σα ευχαριστούμε, Μάνο. Ε, δεν ξέρω αν θέλετε να περάσουμε σε κάποια σχόλια, κάποιε ερωτήσει. Ε, Ποιο θα ήθελε να κάνει ενδεχομένω την αρχή, Δημήτρη. Το κύριο Χαραλαμπίδη το μάθαμε από το No Budget Story. Α, ah, έχει καλή μνήμη. <laughs> Πολύ καλή ταινία, γι' αυτό έχω καλή μνήμη. <laughs> ε, από το No Budget Story, λοιπόν, πάμε σε μια ταινία που σε δύσκολε οικονομικά περιόδου θέλει budget. <laughs> ε, πόσο δύσκολο ήταν να βρεθούν αυτά τα χρήματα, ιδίω σε μια χώρα η οποία έχει αποδείξει ότι όχι μόνο δεν προσελκύει ταινίε, αλλά <laughs> διώχνει, κάνει ό,τι περισσότερο μπορεί, παρακαλάνε να γυρίσουν ταινίε στην Ελλάδα και τι διώχνουν. Εγώ με τον Γιώργο γνωριζόμαστε το 2007 ή 2006 και από εκεί προσπαθεί ο Γιώργο να βρει έναν τρόπο να φέρει την ταινία στην Ελλάδα. Ε, σιγά σιγά αρχίζουμε να αλλάζουμε. Εγώ είμαι αισιόδοξο. Δηλαδή στην ταινία μα ε, η ιδιωτική πρωτοβουλία ήταν με το μέρο μα. Πάντα η Ελλάδα έχει μια παράδοση ε, σε, στο να μην είναι ευέλικτη σε σχετικά, σχετικά με τι κρατικέ υποθέσει τη. Αντιμετωπίσαμε τα ίδια προβλήματα που όλοι αντιμετωπίζουν, αλλά με την οριμότητα του ότι έτσι τα πράγματα πρέπει να τα χειριστούμε και να τα προσπεράσουμε. Ο ηρωισμό ε, ανήκει στου παραγωγού, στου σταμάτητε, στον Γιώργο, οι οποίοι, τον Τζορτζ, που πραγματικά με μεγάλη υπομονή και σοφία χειρίστηκαν όλα, όλα, κάθε τροφοπέδι που συναντούσαμε στην Ελλάδα. Ε, πριν από 20 χρόνια που έκανα τον Ομπάτζε Story, νόμιζα, ήμουν νέο. Ότι μετά από 20 χρόνια δεν θα είμαστε στο σημείο που είμαστε σήμερα. Δεν το περιμένω. Πίστευα ότι όλα θα παίρνουν μια. Ε, δεν την πήραμε. Νομίζω όλοι το πιστεύουμε αυτό. Κανεί δεν πίστευε ότι θα συνέβη αυτό που έγινε. Παρ' όλα αυτά ε, είμαι φύσιτε αισιόδοξο και προτιμώ να κατηγορηθώ για αφέλεια και να είμαι αισιόδοξο παρά να απογοητεύομαι και αυτό να θεωρείται ρεαλισμό. Όχι, όχι, είμαι αισιόδοξο. Mr. Stefanopoulos, uh, is this a 100% fictional story or you were partly inspired by a true story? No, it's a 100% fictional story, but um, I had, before it was a film, I had been following uh, what was happening with the sport in Greece, and I saw that it was all about foreigners and tourists, it really had little to do with, uh, you know, uh, Greeks, and this was all happening under, the, under their noses. Now, Of course, there is the academy in Ithada, and there are kids there and elsewhere. So Greek kids are are playing, but it's not really introduced to, um, you know, uh, you know, a larger population of uh, of, of kids. So uh, I felt that uh, one way to introduce the sport the sport to that demographic was to was do something creative, make a movie, and have my protagonist be a <coughs> self-taught child prodigy. So. Um, I'm, I don't doubt that there probably is someone in Greece who's, who's doing this on their own, but I have seen seven, eight, nine, ten-year-old kids playing golf at a, at a high level. Now, obviously, they're they're in these academies and they're 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 playing um, so that they can play uh, compete uh, in Greece and elsewhere in Europe. So um, I do hope that when the movie gets distribution in Greece in 2017, which will happen, that uh, that uh, more and more kids will pick up the, the sport as a result of the film. I don't know if you are aware about the, the area of a fund which is, mm -hmm. which is sold in Greece and Greek American has tries, actually tries to invest there and to make a golf course. An investor in the You know, Mike is an investor in Okay, one of the so, associate producers. Yeah. But that, that came after the fact. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> because you said you started in 2007, uh, right. the idea. Yeah. Well, 2004. Yes. We started the idea before. 2004, 2005 was you know, the idea. Now, can be combined, right? It is, yeah. And, I, and so I think that that's, you know, that's you know, art imitating life and life imitating art. So it's, uh, it, it's, 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 it's it was a coincidence. Just happened. Yeah. Just happened? So we yeah. like it, like it too, yeah. because, yeah. you know, he has some problems, uh, bureaucratic uh, problems, so he can start with uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, investment in uh, a panel. That's news. 
I think you know. So problems in Greece. So John O'Hurley, John O'Hurley plays the villain in the film. He's yeah. the he's the American entrepreneur who owns the, the property, and he's sort of trying to uh, flip it in a land deal. So Mike, I think, likes to, you know wants to joke and say, I hope people don't think that yeah. that's what that's <laughs> so, uh, Just to clarify that, that you uh, the movie will come out of the uh, theaters. So the it's, it's a whole process. I, sorry, I'm, yes. I'm not aware of the the process. Right. Too. Well, it's so good to know. It's, it's a nice right. Process. So, so it's uh, the there is a process until uh, a movie goes to the theaters. I mean, okay, you you did a very uh, a private uh, production and um, has. Right. Uh, how, well, how I, I would say I'd say most indie films don't get the actual distribution unless they self distribute. So. For any film to, to, to be able to get in theaters is is, is uh, significant. So for us, we will have distribution in March. But the, the current plan is is to it be a limited release, so we'll open in select cities. And we're right now it's New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, and um, and Boston, and uh, and then of course you know in success we we hope to expand more broadly. So part of why we're here today is we want to get the word out. Okay. We want Greeks to, you mm -hmm. know, but, you know, Greeks aren't our only so, audience, but so there are, these are yeah. you know, centers. So there. when people see the film, people talk about the film, the word of mouth, social media, mm -hmm. this is how the, 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 the film will find its way in more theaters. This is how it'll stay in theaters for not one week, but, you know, more several than. weeks. And, mm -hmm. and, um, and so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's roughly going to be a six week marketing campaign leading up to the release. So whenever that is, mm -hmm. working backwards, is when you're going to be hearing more announcements about what's actually happening. What about Greek press, uh, American press, as uh, it's supported to? Um, well, we, we really, other outside the festival circle, we really haven't reached out to the American press. Yeah. I mean, as a, as a, you know, in terms of um, golf enthusiasts, you know, this movie, uh, there are lots of uh, partnership partnerships in, in the... Um, with with the LPGA initially, uh, you know, obviously our uh, Shannon Elizabeth character, she's a tour pro. We didn't want we wanted to establish that she was somebody who played on the LPGA tour, not just any professional tour. So I had we had a, we had to make a deal with the LPGA and to be able to put their name on the film, which we did. And w and once it, we we did that, it opened up a lot of other doors for us to say, look, she's she's a golfer, she's going to be outfitted in golf apparel. So we made uh, deals with Volvic, uh, which is a, a, a golf company. They they they, uh, they they had the golf balls, and her her hat, cap was Volvic, and her bag. Uh, and Tebow Golf uh, was her her um, her uh, apparel. And Golfino uh, uh, Sportswear uh, is the are the clothes that John O'Hurley is wearing. So these are these were companies that we parted with. And when you look at the end of credits, you're going to see Ping, and you're going to see Puma, and you're going to see all these companies. Okay. And, so, so and, and these are, and we're going to go back to these companies who are going to talk about the film on their websites and in, and email blasts. And so the idea is to, you know, we have a lot of marketing hooks. We have the Greek audience, we have the, 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 the golf community, and we have Wait. just this is a family film. It just received a PG rating. All right. So in March, uh, this yeah, 2017, yeah. And yes. so the. Um, you know, we're, our, we're working with a foreign sales agent who just came back from Cannes and, and already starting to have discussions with other foreign buyers. Mm -hmm. Next week in LA is American Film Market, and that's an important market for international sales. So the movie now, as we speak, is you know will be sold in France, into the UK, into Spain, into Italy. We, we're doing Greece we're directly because we have those relationships. Okay. Yeah. So, we'll, so all of this will be in distribution in 2017. So... Uh, you know, we shot in 2015 to, to be, you know, a distribution and two years later, that's that's also remarkable. So we're very happy with uh, how this is uh, yeah, unfolding. It takes five years. It's good for us. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Ακαδημαϊκά Ιδρύματα στι Ηνωμένε Πολιτείε. 
Πιο πάνω για κρυμμένη ταινία. Από ξένα το μαθαίνω τώρα. Έχει πάρει δικαιώματα, δεν έχω. Τι κομπλιμέντο είναι αυτό. Τι κομπλιμέντο είναι αυτό. Είναι αλήθεια. Αυτά είναι. Θεωρείται ταινία. Καλάμε ήδη στη συνάγκη. Είναι και το concept της ταινίας. No budget. No budget ever. Είναι και πιο επίκαιρη από ποτέ αυτή η ταινία. Δυστυχώς. Ποτέ δεν περίμενα έτσι αυτό το αφού λεγόμενο. Sorry. Θα πούμε Καταλαβαίνω τα παιδιά μου. Ο Τζόρτζ είναι στέλνα. Δεν καταλαβαίνω. Ποτέ δεν περιμέναμε το 1997 ότι το 2016-2017 θα συζητάγαμε τα ίδια. Και χειρότερα. Όχι τα ίδια. Κάτι να συζητάγαμε τα ίδια. Εγώ είχα έρθει τότε στην Αμερική στη Νέα Υόρκη που κάναμε ένα φεστιβάλ πολύ ωραίο. Έτοιμοι να πετάξουμε. Πώ έγινε και πώ πέσαμε. Ναι, σωστό. Δυστυχώ έχουμε μια χώρα η οποία είναι στην ουσία ένα κινηματογραφικό πλατό. Δεν υπάρχει γωνία τη Ελλάδα την οποία δεν μπορεί να χρησιμοποιήσει σε ταινίε. Θάλασσε, προγειαλιέ, βουνά, σκι, μετρό, πόλει, ό,τι θέλει. Γειτονιέ, παλιέ, όλα. Δηλαδή και μοντέρνε, ό,τι θέλει τώρα στην Ελλάδα. Και είναι κρίμα που δεν δείξει η χώρα μα. Θα έπρεπε να ήταν το κέντρο του κινηματογράφου, το κέντρο αν όχι τη Ευρώπη, του κόσμου τη Ευρώπη τουλάχιστον. 